हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन द यूनिट हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर आई विल बी टेकिंग टेन क्लासेस ऑन हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम यू वॉच ऑल द टेन क्लासेस एंड आई गारंटी यू दैट इन योर एग्जामिनेशन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर नॉट वॉच अर्लियर थ्री लेक्चर्स गो वॉच देम लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज द कंट्री विच हैज हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट रिमेम्बर देव आस्ट अस्ट विच कंट्री हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट द करेक्ट आंसर इज इंडिया एंड इंडिया हैज फाइव थाउजंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी हायर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ दैट देर आर फिफ्टी फोर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड देन फोर हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज सो रिमेम्बर दिस नंबर 54 central universities then 416 state university and total number of higher education institute is 500 5350 so next to india is indonesia which has 300 and sorry 3300 50 institutes then there is usa then there is a china so remember this is second number is indonesia third number is usa fourth number is china so a main important point that you should remember india has 5350 higher education institute of that 54 central universities and 401 416 state university so students they have asked us to arrange the pre independence commissions education commissions in their uh, chronological order of occurrence so they have asked which uh, commission came first and then which came the last so uh, of the five commissions mccullough's minutes on education was first came up and uh, it was in 1835 to study the importance of english education to indians right so remember importance of english education to indian then there came wood's dispatch it came in the year 1854 and it was uh, for studying the state of education in india then there came a sadler commission that came in the year 1917 then came <coughs> hartock commission so hartock commission came in the year 1929 and then surgeon plan in 1944 so you have to remember this so first is mackellow then second is woods dispatch third is sadler commission fourth is hartock committee and then we have Uh, last that is fifth is sergeant plan right so uh, in this way our correct answer is b so students you have to remember uh, this years and the pre independence and post independence education commissions very careful uh, very uh, carefully as you know there will be a sure shot question on the commissions right so remember the year the uh, mackellus minutes were in 1935 wood dispatch 1854 then sadler commission in 1917 then hartock committee in 1929 and the last is surgeon plan that was in 1944 the question is who chaired the first committee constituted by government of india on women's education after the independence so uh, national council for, council for women uh, was established or uh, constituted by government of india in in the year 1958 remember and it was for the aim of this council national council for women was uh, to uh, have equal rights for women in the educational sector to give scholarship to see, see if more scholarship can be given to the girl students and uh, they emphasize this council emphasize that co education should be extended till the middle school right and the uh, the first chairperson or first chair of this uh, commission national council for women uh, was uh, dr durga bai deshmukh so these are the important point the first committee constituted by government of india was called national council for women and it was established in the year 1958 and it its primary aim was to have a equi equality between uh, men and woman in the education and it was chaired by durga bai deshmukh correct right? how many indian languages are endangered by unesco so students the unesco maintains a atlas or a record of endangered language and in their record so far they have mentioned 2500 languages as a endangered language of that 
197 Indian languages are listed as endangered. And from these 197, 11 languages are from Andaman and Nicobar. Then 7, 6 languages are from Manipur. Sorry, this is 7. And then 4 languages are from Himachal Pradesh, HP, right? So remember, uh, India has 197 endangered language of that 11 are from Andaman, 7 from Manipur and 4 from Himachal Pradesh. So you have to remember that UNESCO maintains an atlas or a record for endangered language and of, uh, of total 2500 languages in the world are endangered of that India share is 197. So they have given us two lists. In one list they have given the name of the institute and in the other list they have given us the uh, its function right so uh, this is quite straightforward question all india council for technical education looks after the technical education so a is equal to three then <clears throat> all india indian council for historical research looks after the uh, research in history then indian council for philosophical research looks for to promote the research in philosophy then indian council for social science and research promotes the research in social science so uh, as you can see uh, so the from the name itself you can uh, predict the uh, its function right so the correct answer is a the question is ugc was established for so they have given us uh, some aim or the functions of ugc and uh, they have asked us which of them are correct so ugc was established in the year 1945 uh, to oversee the operation of uh, Aligarh Muslim University, then Delhi University and Banaras University. And in the year 1956, it became the statutory body uh, by Act of Parliament. So that is UGC Act 1956. And its functions were to coordinate and determine and maintain the standard of university education in the India. Then distribution of the grants to the universities and colleges and then serving as a vital link between union state government and the institute of higher learning so uh, b then d and e are the uh, correct options so correct answer is d and then promoting a research innovation in higher education is looked after by dst then csir so these are the different university same increasing the access to higher education in uh, country is also uh, looked by the other department and not by the ug so, so you have to remember it is for coordinating the uh, standard of standard coordinating maintaining maintaining and determining the standard of university education then distribution of grant and then serving the vital link between union state and higher education institute so you have to remember these three functions so which of the following are the major recommendation of NEP 2020 regarding the higher education remember this is about the higher education so uh, the committee was formed under the chairmanship of uh, Kasturi Ranjan sir and uh, they have submitted report and uh, in NEP 2020 they have uh, a target of increasing the increasing the gross enrollment ratio GER to 50 percent by 2035 then uh, there is second recommendation that for higher education light but tight regulation by single regulator for higher education so what is this light but tight so uh, they uh, according to them so there will be frequent inspections openness of about the policies so that you know positive perception of the higher education will be created so these a and c are <coughs> only uh, correct options so remaining opening the uh, 1500 universities is, is not correct and promoting a research so as i told this is uh, done by the dst and other csir and all, all other departments right and establishing the world class university so we know that ugc looks for the uh, this thing we have just seen in the last question right so correct answer is a and c first is to increase the gross enrollment ratio to 50 percent by 2035 and then light but tight regulation right so you have to remember these two uh, points regarding the higher education disruptive technologies in education means so friends first understand what is disruptive technology disruptive technology means a technology which replaces the existing technology completely destroys the existing technology a simple example i will give 
in 2010 or before that we used to do normal call right via sim card now everybody is doing the online calls right by whatsapp why why you know all other apps so uh, that way it has completely disrupted the call market right cell phone you know uh, calling right so uh, that's why we call it you know uh, disruptive technology so new technology that completely changed the uh, way things are done in education so what is new things like now you can see ai chatbot right ai chatbot uh, we have seen so uh, it can you know uh, answer all of your question in chat like you know now online learning has replaced the offline learning and uh, then hybrid learning so you have to remember disruptive technologies that in education mean new technology that completely change the way things are done in education right so uh, main example will be ai then you know online learning right uh, so these are the two example important so they have given us a assertion and then they have given us a reason that in a higher education in india has a limited access particularly in a socio economically disadvantaged area and the research and innovation investment in india is only 0.69% of gdp so that is the reason so they have asked why there is a big gap so according to aish survey that india has gross enrollment ratio of around 26% of that scheduled caste their ratio is 21 and scheduled tribe their ratio is just around 15 so uh, see this is a common ratio and then you have if you take social uh, schedule cast is 21 and then schedule tribe 20, 15 so there is a huge difference uh, so that shows that there is a disadvantage in the uh, socially econo socio economical disadvantage areas there is a difference so assertion a is correct but see even if you have higher investment in the uh, of the gdp in the education that will not solve the problem of the uh, accessibility to all so the reason is wrong so correct answer will be both uh, sorry the a and c both a and r are correct so they are correct but r is not correct explanation of a right i hope you understood this now this is the question that you have to answer uh, and you have to answer it in the comment section all uh, right uh, the nap 2020 proposes to prepare the which of the following curriculum for framework so they have given us uh, five frameworks and of that which are uh, proposed in the nep so i will tell you one hint that you know e is one of the options so you have to see uh, which is the correct option so you have to answer it in the comment section the correct answer i will pin in the comment right so students for paper one complete course is starting a new batch is starting from 13th of may and you know in this batch you will get daily live lectures in english so we have we provide completely english like live lecture and recorded lecture notes test series so all is provided we also have complete course in hindi so uh, we are the only channel in india that provides you a completely hindi and english lectures in you know not english lecture right? not mixed lecture so we give you hindi as well as english lecture there are separate batches so if you join english batch you automatically get access to hindi if you join hindi batch you also get access to english batch and one more feature is so this uh, course is uh, valid for 12 months so you can prepare your this exam your december exam and your june exam so that is also taken care of you just download the global online app then from store section you type ugc and then you will see this uh, 2400 rupees for 12 month so remember very cheap course you can enroll and you know uh, get the maximum